Welcome to Vietnam Travel News. In our first item today. In the central city of Da Nang, authorities are planning to renovate a backpacker tourism zone within the city by the end of 2022. Initially launched back in 2018, it has become a hub for backpackers and travelers alike to visit and enjoy Da Nang City. The area will have trees planted, Wi-Fi zones set up, and also more lighting for extra security, at a cost of $1.61 million. Danang hopes to attract more foreign tourists to the area, through the vaccine passport trial program. But, looking to the future of tourism in Danang, for when Vietnam fully opens. Also in Danang, authorities have made public, the three tourist destinations permitted to accept foreign tourists during the vaccine passport phase. The three tourist sites in Danang will be, Ba Na Hills, Cham Sculpture Museum, and Marble Mountains. Various designated travel agencies are vying for approval, to accept these expected foreign tourists, and to be able to offer their services. If you would like more information about that, please help our brand new channel reach 500 subscribers, and like this video, and hover your mouse over the subscribe button, in the bottom right corner, and click subscribe. We will try to bring you that information very soon. Nha Trang is looking to extend its tourism channels in the area, by turning the stunning island of Hun Tre, into a tourism magnet to lure more international visitors. Hun Tre is a beautiful island approximately 3 kilometers off the mainland, home to around 1,500 inhabitants and around 3,000 hectares of land. Some of which are already home to luxury resorts, and lengthy sandy beaches. The planned area to be used, will be 1,350 hectares, and would attract 20-story hotels, and other tourism sectors. Is this a good idea? Please write your thoughts below. In our next item today. Bamboo Airways are set to offer their first direct flights, between the US and Vietnam, in the first quarter of 2022, at a cost of $1,300 to $1,500 return. Flights will be planned once every two days, and increase to daily at a later date. These flights will be between Ho Chi Minh City, and San Francisco. They will begin flying once they have received full permission by the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration, and also when Vietnam resumes international flights. Next in our news today. Binding Province in the central region, hopes to become the sixth destination permitted to allow foreign tourists visit their sunny shores. This is part of the new vaccine passport program to which Qi Yen Zhang, Kang Hoa, Quang Nin, Quang Nam and Da Nang are members. Home to the beach town of Quy Nhon, a not-so-visited location for the regular tourist, but a haven for backpackers and domestic tourists looking for amazing seafood, quiet desolate beaches, fishing villages, and great weather. A successful admission to the vaccine passport program will all depend on the province's efforts to ensure pandemic control, safety and comfortable measures for its possible visitors. Now, we will talk about the latest COVID and vaccine news in Vietnam. Human trials of the Covivac vaccine, Vietnam's second homemade vaccine, have been halted, due to lack of unvaccinated test subjects. Most provinces, and cities across Vietnam, have now given at least one dose of a vaccine, to its adult population, and therefore has left test subjects without vaccine, thin on the ground. The team at the Institute of Vaccines and Medical Biologicals, are considering using the vaccine as a booster shot, to test its effectiveness. But this can only begin in March 2022, because it's the earliest date, in which any volunteers will be permitted to receive the booster, after their second dose, six months on. No new news about Nanocovax, the first home-made vaccine, which is still in its third stage of human trials. Please click subscribe, to stay tuned for more information on that. In better news today, around 5 million more vaccine doses have arrived in Vietnam, in the past week. 1.4 million Pfizer doses were donated by France, and arrived in Hanoi on Saturday and Sunday. On Friday, 2 million doses arrived from the US, 
and more than 1.54 million AstraZeneca doses came from Japan on Thursday. This now leads nicely to our weekly check on the vaccination progress in Vietnam. As you can see from the graph, kindly made available by our worldindata.org, Vietnam has now partially vaccinated 20.2 million people. A milestone has been achieved also where they have now crossed over the 50% mark and fully vaccinated 50.94 million. This is how it looks up until 29th November. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and click the bell for notifications of new Vietnam travel news videos. Goodbye.